A few weeks ago, I found this on Google Earth. You can see these piles of rocks that could indicate ancient ruins of some kind. I wanted to go see what they were, so I drove seven hours to check it out. Okay, on this adventure, uh, I found something on Google Earth just down this very old Jeep trail, and it looks like some ruins, but I'm not 100% sure. So that's why I'm here to see what they are. It's so great to have you with me on this one. It shouldn't be that long. Just got a short hike and we'll see what it is. I'm really excited. Hope you are too. I'm here. And look at this. I just stumbled upon this thing right here. Wow. What is it? It was something, that's for sure. Wow, there's just stuff everywhere. Like, I imagine this could have been a tower of some kind, but I don't know. From this viewpoint, I counted over 10 possible places to see. Some are on the other side of the canyon, and I'm wondering how I'm going to see all this during my visit. I'm just floored everywhere I look, there's something else that I ha haven't seen. Like, just kind of down by this little creek right here, or this little, I don't know where the creek or the wash is, there's another rune right there, and there's something right here too. And there's broken pottery right here. I'm going to try to go down there because that looks really neat down there. Oh, okay. What do you think this is for? There could have been some type of dwelling or granary here in this alcove. This is the only part of it left. I just looked around the corner. These are so cool. <laughs> These are, I can't even describe it. They're just so amazing. So let's go check it out. But first, let me introduce today's video sponsor. Okay, so right along this edge right here. Holy cow. Can you believe that? Look at this. Look at this thing. I, I'm literally speechless. It's just incredible, absolutely incredible. Okay, you're seeing this first with me. We're seeing this together. What does this say? 1917. Wow. R B T Turn. Oh, R B Turner. 1917. Oh, look at this. By now, I am thinking that these structures were created by the Ancestral Pueblo. These are probably in the range of about 850 to 1100 years old. The Ancestral Pueblo lived and thrived in this area and created farms and built thousands of structures all over the Four Corners region of the United States. Isn't that crazy? Like somebody was probably sitting right here a thousand years ago, a thousand years ago, just having the same view that I have right now. And this was their home. And this has been strong. Like, I don't see much rock that has fallen down. So that's why these are in such good condition. And probably because um, these are a little bit harder to find, you know. So looters probably haven't been here as often as some other places. It just gets better and better. So I'm looking at the masonry right here with the stones and I found something that's gonna just blow your mind like it is mine. Okay, look at this masonry, it's absolutely beautiful. But then, look up here, look at this thing. So that's corn imprints a thousand years ago. <laughs> that is amazing. Why is it only just right there? So sometimes you can see people's fingerprints and fingernail impressions in these things. That is amazing. That is so cool. There's only just those two. So I know what you're probably thinking. Why isn't he going inside? Go inside already. I'm actually not going to go inside. I'll put my camera inside there, but I'm not going to go inside these things because even if I accidentally slip and bump one of these sides of these walls, you could completely crumble. And I don't want to do that. I want to protect these things. So uh, I'm just going to stick my camera in so we can get a view of it. These could have been dwellings or places to store food and other items called granaries. I didn't see any artifacts on the inside, but it was fun to think what this place would have been like a thousand years ago. I think 
Someone's hands and feet would have been right there going inside this thing. Here I am looking at what they made. They did such beautiful work right here. Okay, if you look right here, these little twigs that they used. Those are little branches or twigs or something. You can kind of see them in other places too. See how when they put the mortar in right here, and they put little small rocks in between that. And notice how this rock up here is kind of similar to that one right there. And then these are similar to other stuff just outside of the cave. So they use both native material from this cave and other rocks and things from other places. Yeah, there's another twig right there. Wow. <laughs> It's hard to beat, huh? Once you see that and then come over here, see these towers? Still really cool. It's hard to just to beat that over there. I know you can't really tell, but there is a pretty big ruin right here. And there's like a depression right up top. Um, I'm gonna go walk around this thing. So this ruin I found on Google Earth here is this ruin I'm at right now on the corner of this cliff. Really big ruin right here. Some broken pottery I'm finding, just a little small. Some pot sherds I'm finding. There's even some last of the standing rocks right there. I'm just looking out here. I just don't have time to see all this. I just can't do it all. There's no way. And oh, there's another one right there. There's a little cave dwelling. So I'm just gonna have to fly my drone to this and just kind of see everything. Cause I just, there's no way I can do this in one visit without spending the rest of the day here. Do you remember my video from a couple weeks ago uh, where it's like this big kind of cliff top village? Um, I think this is like double or triple the size of that. Maybe even four times that size. This place does not get many visitors. There is very little vandalism. I didn't find anything actually, uh, besides that guy's signature from 1917. But this just is a place that doesn't get visitors. And I'm glad it's that way. Like where's all the petroglyphs? Can someone explain to me why in these huge areas, there's not any petroglyphs? Like what is going on with that? The thing I saw on Google Earth that started this whole adventure ended up being this ruin right here. And here is a top view of it. In all, I found about 17 structures on the surrounding cliff edges. Many of those were multiple roomed buildings too. I also noted about four cliff dwellings with the possibility of several more I didn't have time to explore. That was so much fun. That was a unique, interesting, fun adventure. Um, I hope I'm not setting the bar too high. You're thinking, well, if that was the best, then what's next, you know? It's not gonna be like that. It's not always gonna be like that. I love these smaller sites, not this one, but other sites. But I'm just gonna keep doing what I love to do, and I hope you stay along with me. Okay, I just stopped for a second to grab some water, and I looked on the ground, and look at this. Look at these huge pieces right here. Wow, somebody broke a pot right here. Or pieces of pottery, I don't know. <laughs> Those are cool. Just out here in the open. Look, it has a uh, white paint on it. Well, there's some more over here. Careful. Okay, look at this big chunk. Wow. <laughs> I 
Oh, this connected somehow. I don't know. That way. That way. Wow, oh, there's a lot over here. I am so happy you're able to join me on this adventure, and hopefully I'll see you on the next one.